Hello, this is Croak, back for another ARC video. Uh, with the success we've had with the lead sick videos, uh, some people were wondering uh, if they needed 24 plant turrets to uh, survive a lead sick attack. So uh, that was just a test boat to see what would happen uh, and, and also to kill them. Uh, but to just survive, you don't need that many. At least I don't think. We're going to find out today. So I built this new boat, which is a bit of a taming boat uh, for large creatures. Uh, I'm probably over the, yeah, I'm sure I'm over the vanilla limit. But, uh, you know, <laughs> it's... Uh, well, we're just going to do it with one plant turret on the back and see how it goes. And eventually we will try it with a vanilla, of course, a vanilla taming boat. Now, let's see if I can... Uh, I'm in K mode, no wonder. Let's see if I can get out of here without running into the wall because there is a lot of structures on this boat. This is also after uh, they changed the lead six, so there aren't near as many of them all over the place, so it might take a while to actually find one. But the goal here is not to stay and fight. It is to get the hell away from it and get back to shore. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, there's one. Okay, let's turn and head back to shore. Well, we took a couple hits. This probably isn't the best shoreline to be on, because <laughs> it's pretty steep here. Uh, I'm going to check my raft. Uh, yeah, I might need some repairs. Let me guess, I didn't bring anything to repair again. Ooh, I do have some hide. Just need, yeah, I got a little fiber. Let's see if that's enough. repair. Okay, well, we took a hit and we made it safely to shore. Um, so it is entirely possible to do so. Now let's see if I can go anywhere. See if we can get over to the creek. Just hug the shoreline for a little bit. I think they can actually swim in the in there. I don't know if they will. You know, there's something that I forgot to do. I can't remember what it was now. Ooh, this pretty deep wall here. He might come back for more. Yeah, he could definitely hit me right here. Oh, here comes another one. You want some? Come get some. We'll take you out. Yeah, really the safest thing is to hug the shoreline as much as possible, but... It... I believe having a plant turret will 
will slow them down enough to where you can get back to shore. One important thing, make sure you turn off your plant turrets before you try to tame something. <laughs> uh, or you might disappoint yourself. You know, I'm going to have to get back out in deeper water because I need to test if, see if this thing is actually slowing them down at all. Probably should have done it without the big taming cage so that I could actually see underwater a little better. And let's turn around and find them again. Of course, I didn't bring my scuba fins today. certainly do have a I think they like to hang out by this steep drop off thinking that you won't be able to get away from them. I see one up there okay he's coming I'm gonna turn Let's see I think the plant turret's slowing him down a little. Oh, no, oh, shooting the manta now. Okay, yeah, it's hitting him and slowing him down. Let's see if I can gam up a little. Yeah, look at that, buddy. You just stay, no, oh, he's coming up again. Oh, it's shooting the mantas. Once it starts shooting him, though, he stops. And the mantas are going to come up, so it's going to start shooting the manta. Oh, you know what? I didn't put it on high. <laughs> uh, that's kind of a problem. It's still on medium, I think. But yeah, he's sitting back there. And then once it starts shooting the mantas, he tries to make a run for it. And then when he gets hit, it slows him down. And that's what we want. All right, I'm going to get up on this, in these rocks here, and see about, actually, I'm going to park on the land here and change out that, uh, of course, it's going to shoot the turtles. See if I can change that to high. There we go. Sorry turtles, I'm not actually trying to shoot you, but I'm sure you're going to follow me and drag this out some more. Okay, we still got him out here. I'm going to see if I can get around here without having him right up my butt. Let's get out here in deeper water again. Oh, where, where'd he go? Did we lose him? I'm gonna have to backtrack some more.
right underneath me and I can't see him. I should have made a glass bottom boat. Oh, okay, there he is. I'm gonna hug the shoreline a little bit, come up beside him, and then turn and head back north again. Yeah, we'll go right around this rock. Should work. Let's see if we can get a look. Oh, I need to go deeper. And there he is. Okay, he is behind us. Let me stop for a second, let him catch up. Yeah, he's getting some getting some balls once it starts shooting the mantas we'll just inch along here freaking kill those mantas already okay here he comes and he stopped yep one plant turret all you need you just gotta <laughs> You gotta watch it, because once it starts shooting other stuff. Wait, how come it's not shooting him? Is it shooting something else? Oh, mantis. Yeah, once it thumps him on the head, though, he basically stops in his tracks. Yeah, go make a big circle and come back. We'll finish up some of these mantas while you're away. I'm going to go on ahead a little. Since he is faster than everything. We'll let him catch up if he wants. No, I think he gave up. I think he had enough. Well, there's what I was trying to say in the previous video is that plant turrets do what they do which is slow things down and stick one on the back of your raft yeah of course you won't be able to park your raft out in open water but uh, if you need to go somewhere on your raft you should be able to without getting destroyed by the Lead Sicthus, which is what I'm going to call him until I figure out how to say it properly. Alright, I'm going to get back to base and I'll cut back when I get there. We made it back and before I close I wanted to show you one other thing that I figured out. Uh, when I made this tank of a boat with 24 plant turrets, uh, to aid them in growing faster, I put greenhouse glass over all of them, but then I had to irrigate them, so I built this little uh, scaffolding of uh, pipes and taps and tried to get, <laughs> whenever I moved the boat, it was a pain to line them back up so they would still be irrigated. Well, when I was doing the other one, I learned something that might be useful for anyone who wants to irrigate on a boat and that is the taps don't need to be above them this one here it's a tap just stuck uh, on the end of a intake and it's irrigating this plant turret over here even though it's way down there useful uh, plant turret advice so probably what I will do after this is just put a series of uh, 
pipes below the boat level, you know, like right here, and just run a grid, and then I can just drive my raft right up to it, and you know, have a tap every few feet, and it'll be a lot easier to line up. Okay, well, we learned that uh, one plant turret is sufficient to hold a lead sixthus at bay while you escape. And that was the goal. So once again, I am Crote. Uh, please like the video.